Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the failures that happen during the upgrade process of uh, distributed systems. I'm Yunle Zhang from Purdue University, and this is a joint work with my colleagues from University of Chicago and the University of Toronto. Today, most internet services live on the cloud, such as Amazon AWS and other public and private clouds. These cloud systems are typically large distributed systems that are designed to be fault tolerant and highly reliable. Unfortunately, even the most reliable cloud system has to go through software upgrades, which is one of the most disruptive maintenance tasks. The first type of upgrade procedure is a full stop upgrade, where the whole cluster goes down and every node is restarted running a newer version of the software. And this results in a not available period. The second type is rolling upgrade, where nodes take turns to shut down and restart with the newer version. And this results in a partially available period. Even if vendors perform rolling upgrade across multiple clusters and migrate user traffic among them during upgrade, the reduced service capacity still makes uh, distributed systems vulnerable to workload spikes. Moreover, failures could happen during distributed system upgrade and aggravate the service disruption. In this work, we define upgrade failure as failures that only happen during upgrade, and we only focus on them. These failures are particularly problematic because first, Upgrade is typically performed on the entire cluster, so an upgrade failure can often paralyze the entire cluster. Second, many upgrade failures cause persistent impact, such as data loss or corruption, and it cannot be resolved by simple rollback. For example, in 2014, Dropbox encounters an upgrade failure that caused severe data loss, and it took them two days to fully restore from backup storage. To perform upgrades safely, developers typically adopt canary deployment, which slowly roll out updates from a small scale to the entire cluster. According to Google, such deployment could easily take several hours. And Microsoft also reports that 20% of a canary deployment take more than 16 hours. This slow rollout procedure creates a dilemma because fast upgrade is desired in order to deploy new features and fix bugs. An interesting example of such dilemma is to fix the famous leap debug in Microsoft, a patch was quickly deployed and caused an extra three hour outage. To overcome this dilemma and help achieve safe and fast upgrade, in this work, we performed the very first study focusing on upgrade failures in distributed systems. And we randomly selected 123 upgrade failures from eight widely deployed distributed systems. Our study mainly covers three aspects. First, it studies upgrade failure symptoms, severity, and time of detection. For example, even though upgrade failures typically have severe consequences, we were surprised to find that uh, the majority of upgrade failures were only caught after the software was released. We then study and categorize the root causes of upgrade failures. For example, we found that uh, two thirds of upgrade failures happen because two software versions hold incompatible assumptions about data formats or data semantics. And we further build a static checking tool targeting data format incompatibilities. It finds over 800 data format incompatibilities with more than 300 confirmed. And it has been requested by HBase developers to be integrated into their toolchain. In addition, we study the uh, triggering condition of upgrade failures to understand how can we improve testing to detect upgrade failures. For example, we found that uh, over 90% of upgrade failures can be triggered by testing consecutive major or minor versions. 
And we further developed an automated uh, testing tool for upgrade failures called the DUP tester. It detected 20 previous unknown upgrade failures and seven of them are confirmed. And we open sourced the data set used in our study and both of our tools, uh, links can be found in our paper. In the remaining part of this talk, I'm going to uh, skip the uh, symptom severity study because it mainly confirms that uh, upgrade failures have severe consequences. I'm going to introduce some interesting findings in our root cause study and triggering condition study that leads to the design of our tools. As mentioned, in our root cause study, we found that almost two thirds of upgrade failures are caused by incompatible data syntax or data semantics. In particular, we found that uh, about 20% of syntax incompatibilities are about data syntax defined by serializing libraries or enum data types. And because these incompatibilities have a clear syntax definition interface, we are able to design a static checking tool called DUP Checker that automatically detects such issues. For example, DUP Checker checks incompatible enum types by detecting changed enum definitions between versions and further checking whether an enum data could be communicated between versions by tracking its data flow. Details of detailed uh, DUP checker can be found in our paper. In addition, we found that about two thirds of data semantic incompatibilities are caused by incomplete version checking and handling. These failures happen when developers are already, are already aware that uh, another node could send incompatible data. And they intentionally check the software version running on the other node, but failed to do it correctly. For example, this Cassandra bug uh, happened because developers checked version number in one of uh, the network messages, but forgot to do it for another. And luckily, we found four good um, developers' practices that could, pre uh, could prevent the majority of such issues. And please refer to our paper for more details. We further studies upgrade failures triggering condition to understand how testing can be improved. As mentioned, we found that almost 90% of upgrade failures can be triggered between consecutive major and minor versions. And they only need fewer than three uh, than four nodes to be triggered. We also found that half of upgrade failures can be triggered using regular operations in stress testing with only default configuration. In addition, most of the non-default configurations and non-regular operations can be found in unit tests. Driven by these findings, we develop a DUP tester that automatically tests upgrade. Given two software versions, DUP tester mainly tests two scenarios. First, it tests full, uh, full stop upgrade by executing a workload before the upgrade and loads the generated data on the new version. Second, it tests rolling upgrade by executing a workload during, a, uh, during rolling upgrade. And DUP tester mainly uses two types of uh, testing workloads. First, it directly adopts the default workload in stress testing. In addition, it synthesizes workload by picking client-side operations in unit tests. And the detailed technique involves a simplified compiler and it can be found in our paper. This Cassandra failure is detected by DUP tester by running stress testing in a full stop upgrade uh, scenario. It not only prevents the system from successful upgrade, but also successful down, a successful downgrade. In this figure, the time flies from left to right, and orange data is written by the old Cassandra version, and the green data written by the new Cassandra version. During stress testing, the old Cassandra version writes data in a special format called compact, uh, compact storage. And after upgrade, Cassandra appends commit log, which is uh, its uh, right ahead log to disk. After uh, that, it loads data from disk and immediately crashes because the new version cannot handle compact storage. 
And downgrading to uh, the old version also crashes because it cannot handle the new version's commit log. To conclude, in this work, we performed the very first study on upgrade failures in distributed systems. And based on our study, we built a static checking tool called DUP Checker and uh, an upgrade testing tool called the DUP Tester to help with early detection of upgrade failures. Due to time limit, I'll skip related works. Thank you.